It was one of the most highly anticipated unconventional presidential inauguration ceremonies in post-independence Ukraine, and it all started with high fives, kisses and selfies. Political novice and TV showman Volodymyr Zelensky took a step back from tradition and walked past crowds of cheering supporters to the parliament. In his first presidential address, he said bringing Russia's undeclared war in Donbass to an end was his top priority, but stopped short of revealing any concrete plans or strategies how this could be realistically achieved. I'm ready to do whatever it takes in order for our heroes not to die. I'm not afraid to make difficult decisions. I'm ready to lose my popularity rating, and without any hesitation, I'm ready to lose my job for peace. He also called on Ukrainians living abroad to return home. Don't be surprised. There are 65 million of us, those who were born on Ukrainian soil. I'm addressing Ukrainians in Europe and Asia, in North and South America, in Australia and Africa. I'm addressing all Ukrainians across the world. We need you. All those who are ready to build a strong and successful country, I will happily grant you Ukrainian citizenship. Zelensky switched to Russian at several points during his speech. Firstly, when calling on the Kremlin to release all Ukrainian political prisoners, and then when demanding the government further integrate Ukrainians in occupied parts of Donetsk and Luhansk regions, who say they feel alienated. During the ceremony, Zelensky was heckled by radical party leader Oleh Lashko for speaking Russian in a professional capacity as head of state. This is how the exchange ensued. Sorry? They understand Ukrainian. Yes, they do understand Ukrainian. Thank you for that. Also, thank you very much for continuing to divide people, Mr. Lyashko. I want to say we are all Ukrainians, no matter where we live. The new president also said he would dissolve the parliament. This is seen as a strategic move to bring the October parliamentary elections forward. This increases his party's chances of securing a majority in parliament.